Oh, I'm so sad. I missed the crack. Oh, I'm not surprised, though. Oh, already squirting. You're not even out. Ugh! Mercy. All right. That went all... Like, I'm way back. Oh, my gosh. She's still going. Dude! Dude! <laughs> all right. All right. I see. All right, let's get you... Let's get you hanging somewhere good so you can pump up those wings. Had to miss the paper towel, huh? Congrats, you are the first moth to make it on the toilet paper. Here, let me help. Let me help. Oh my goodness. There we go. Hey. Hey, buddy. You have a very curly proboscis, and you... That was my bad. Pretty baby. Hello, you made it out. Oh, you made it out. Oh, pretty little girl. Oh, you're so big. Hello, honey. Hello, honey. 
So this is the Sweet Sweet Girl that came out yesterday. Um, and I noticed she has a very strange uh, proboscis. It actually seems like she has two. Um, and as a result, she can't really tuck them in. Uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can get her to stick one out for me. But as you can see, it's just kind of lolling out the side of her face. Uh, I don't know how this is going to impact her ability to eat. Uh, I was kind of hoping that after she, she dried out and had time to, like, just time out of her, her pupa shell that she would kind of fix this, but it looks like this is just how she is, which is fine as long as she can still drink, um, which she is able to stick it out. Let me see if I can get her to, to do that for me. I don't want to bother her, but... <laughs> can you stick that out for me, honey? Can you stress this out? It's very strange. I didn't know this was a thing that could happen. Um, I don't know if she developed two proboscises or if the one that she has just kind of split down the middle. I hope it's the former because I feel like that's less of a problem. Um, but yeah, she's got, she's just got a, a silly straw instead of a, instead of a bendy straw. But as long as that works for her, that's, that's fine by me. Okay. Sweetie. 